Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel MP Learners. I am your instructor Mavish Tahir and today's topic is dry running using flowchart. I will show you an example for this. This example says a flowchart for an algorithm inputs 10 values from the user and outputs the highest and lowest values from it. This is the test data for the given example and we will use this test data to fill the given trace table. This is the flowchart for this example. This is the test data and this is the trace table. Trace table has five columns, counter, number, highest, lowest and output. We will fill these columns one by one by using this test data and this flowchart. Let's start. First of all start, then counter. Counter is equals to zero. We will place zero here. Then input number. First number is three, so three will be placed here. Next, highest is equals to number and lowest is equals to number, which means 3 will be placed in highest and 3 will be placed in lowest. Then input another number, which is 5. 5 will be placed in the number column. Now check if number is greater than highest. Current value of number is 5 and highest value is 3. So 5 is greater than 3. Yes, highest will be now 5. Moving forward, we will increment the counter by 1 so it will be 1 now counter is less than 9 1 is less than 9 yes input another number that is 17 17 will be placed here now check if the number is greater than highest 17 is greater than 5 yes place 17 here and increment the counter counter will be 2 now yes it is less than 9 so input and other number that is 8, 8, 8 will be placed here. Now 8 is greater than 17, no. 8 is less than 3, no. So we will simply increment the counter and counter is 3, 3 is less than 9, yes. Input and other number that is 23, 23 will be placed here. Now check if 23 is greater than 17, yes, place 23 here, then counter will be incremented 4 and then 4 is less than 9, yes, input another number which is 15, 15 will be placed here and then 15 is greater than 23, no, 15 is less than 3, no, so counter will be incremented that is 5 5 is less than 9 yes input another number which is 1 1 will be placed under number column 1 is greater than 23 no 1 is less than 3 yes 1 will be placed under lowest column here so now increment the counter it will be 6 6 is less than 9 yes input another number which is 12 12 will be, will be placed here and 12 is greater than 23 no 12 will, is less than 1 no increment the counter and it will be 7 7 is less than 9 yes input another number which is 10 10 will be placed here now 10 is less greater than 23 no 10 is less than 1, no, increment the counter and it will be 8, 8 is less than 9, yes, input another number which is 9, 9 will be placed here and now 9 is greater than 23, no, 9 is less than 1, no, increment the counter, now counter is 9, so 9 is less than 9, no, 9 is equal to 9. So we'll be, we will move here, output should be highest value comma lowest value. So the current value of highest is 23 and current value of lowest is 1. So we will place 23 and 1 here in this output column. You can see that uh, we haven't filled all the rows of lowest and all the rows of highest. We have skipped the rows where the value of highest was placed 
lowest value was skipped we will not repeat these values and we will leave the spaces as it is and now moving forward we will terminate the program and this was the final output of this program you can check this flowchart using any other test data you can select your own test data and then check it that was all for today thank you for watching my video i hope you like it take care goodbye